Hi everyone, Amy here, and I have a cute, ghostly, stenciled Halloween card to share with you. Now these stencils are from the October release at A Colorful Life Designs. Super cute. This first one is called Ghostly Squad, and this one is called Spooky. And I'm going to use them together. I have some pixie spray on the back of the ghost one, but I'm going to use them together on this blue cardstock with some white pigment ink to create a really cute quirky Halloween card. Now here's a photo of the finished card. You can see I was able to use some pattern paper, which is always a bonus to use up some of that stuff because I have way too much. But to start, I'm just going to line up these three ghosts along the top of this A2 size panel. This is a lightweight, inexpensive, dark blue cardstock. And I'm trying to figure out the layout here because as you as you can see, that spooky is vertical in orientation. So I do end up using the stencil a little bit differently to make it work for this design. So I lay down the first stencil and I push it down with my brayer and I'm just gonna use this uh, blending foam with a wooden handle and some white pigment ink from um, Hero Arts. It's called Unicorn Pigment Ink. And I'm just gonna use that to create this ghostly hue on these cute little ghosts with sunglasses. So as you know, pigment takes a really long time to dry. So be sure to give it adequate time or use your heat tool like you're gonna see me use a couple times. Um, I do end up using the heat tool throughout the process just because I don't wanna end up smearing it. Now it does kind of go into the paper a little bit or dry back a little bit so it's not quite as bright white. Um, you could also do this with white embossing if you wanted. You could do like a clear embossing powder or you could just use um, the pigment to your advantage because it stays wet so long and actually white heat emboss right over the white pigment. Now here that I've got the top pretty much dry, I'm kind of lining up this spooky uh, sentiment stencil on the bottom and I'm masking off the bottom parts of the letter because I want to make it you know a regular horizontal orientation sentiment so I'm just trying to gauge here where I need to line it up so it's got even spacing um, and an even margin on both sides of the word so this is where it was a little bit tricky trying to eyeball it um, but I think I did pretty good in the end in lining it up so I'm just going to mask off around the edges and across the bottom of the SPO and do the same thing after I'm done you know throwing my pigment all around um, but I'm just going to pounce the blending foam right over these first three letters and then I will ultimately clean off my stencil um, and then use the heat tool again to dry this back and then move the stencil over and mask off to use the bottom three letters. So this was a fun way to use it kind of differently um, just because I wanted to use them together and I couldn't really think of a way um, to make them work together without kind of changing the, the layout of the letters. So here this was a lot easier to line up because I could kind of gauge the margin and make it the same as the other side. But I'm doing the exact same thing, just using those three pieces of post-it tape again, um, just to mask off those bottom three letters and pounce down, you know, and make a mess almost. <laughs> you could use pixie spray or I could be using my um, Wendy Vecchi station tool here. I was just not thinking and didn't pull it back out, but I was able to hold it in place just fine um, and make it work. And then I cooked it again with my um, embossing embossing tool there. So what I have here, I have another Hero Arts product. It's a stamp and cut. I just basically wanted the have a, and then I have this really cool sentiment st set from um, scrapbook.com that I got recently. And what I did is I white heat embossed both of those on some black cardstock. And then I'm just kind of fussy cutting out the Halloween because I don't want to cover up too much of my design, but I do want the black um, contrasting with the white embossing to really kind of pop off the design of my card. So I'm just kind of fussy cutting, um, turning the paper as I go. That's the easiest way to fussy cut rather than tiring your hand out and turning the scissors. Turn the paper as you Go and it makes it a lot smoother cut and then I do have this banner that I heat embossed on that I'm going to trim down just wiping off the excess powder now here I have some custom craft dies from Lawn Fawn um, it's like a square shape but I do ultimately just end up using that cool edging on just the two sides and then cutting um, the top parts of the square flat in my paper trimmer so the that edging is only on the two sides of the spooky panel um, and then I have this piece of polka dot pattern paper that I'm going to bring into the design just to kind of bring in, in some more black um, and then basically I just need to assemble these pieces and then I'll add 
some more fun details. So I have this um, roll of foam tape that I get from scrapbook.com. It's one inch wide and it's very, very, very sticky, um, but it works really well. Um, I use that. I was using the 3M tape, but I did um, kind of get in the habit of using this and I think I prefer uh, this kind as well. So if you're placing a scrapbook order, always take a look um, at their scrapbook.com brand items. A lot of times they have them, you know, 50% off and things like that, which is what I recently encountered and was able to score in a recent order. So that was nice. Um, but I'm using some liquid glue here just to kind of lay down this little banner that says have a, and I'm kind of deliberately kicking it off the side. I like that it's kind of overhanging the edge. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the Halloween and have it kind of overhang the other side um, of the blue panel. But I do want to support that end, so I'm just taking a little tiny snippet um, of this foam tape and just kind of supporting it underneath the end so that it doesn't get cr uh, crushed in the mail. So I'm just going to kind of nestle this in under here just to really support that um, little overhang bit. And then I want to bring in a little something extra. Um, a design team member of mine, Leslie, made a card um, with this stencil and used these googly eyes. So I totally cased this idea from her. Um, I just thought it was too cute. So I busted out the, the kid crafty supplies in my craft room and used some liquid glue and put down a couple little <laughs> googly eyes onto this composition. I thought it was really fun um, and kind of unexpected. So this is definitely not a scary sort of uh, Halloween card. It's much more cutesy. Um, there are lots of kind of creepy Halloween stencils in this release though, if that's your jam or maybe if you have someone that loves I don't know, scary movies, you might want to look into the creepy ones. So there's cute Halloween, creepy Halloween, and then there's also just really pretty um, fall inspired or autumn inspired stencils in this release. So be sure to check out the rest. I will link everything in the video description box below. Um, and I do have a coupon, Amy Fan 10, so you can save on your complete order. But I added this cool little um, glitter gel just to add another little design element onto those little ghosts just to give it a little extra pizzazz. And then I have a little pen here. I'm just drawing some little eyelashes on these uh, googly eyes just to give it a little something extra. So it all came together well. I really wasn't sure what direction I was going to go. Um, in typical fashion, I'm winging it. I don't really have a set plan. Um, I don't ever create my cards um, beforehand. What you see is what you get. I'm kind of just creating it as I go. That's definitely more my style. But I'm really happy with how this turned out. I hope you liked it as well. If you did, please hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. And like I said, be sure to check out the release. It's super fun. So I'll catch you next time. Bye.